Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be starting the first episode of a show that I'm calling Best of the Rest, which is how to properly use your SR and your BR units instead of having to rely only on GRs. I know a lot of people that play this game are free-to-play players, they don't want to invest too much money in it. So it gets hard to get your GR units to high skill levels, so I want to take you guys through how to use some of the lower rarity characters who are still really good. This game has some top tier lower rarity characters. So the first guy we're going to look at is Pesci. Pesci is crazy good. You'll see why when we get into the battle. So this is a stage in the King Crimson event, and one of the uh, stage requirements is making a 4x4 four four block in stand-up time, which means 4 down, 4 across, obviously. Pesci makes that happen super easily, especially if you have Jonathan, which most people do because Jonathan is the recommended reroll, and rerolling is free. He's guaranteed every reroll, so I never really see anybody not pick him. If you didn't pick Jonathan, though, that's why we're using Jorno. We'll do one probably maybe with Josuke or Joseph. He works honestly with every single starter Josar, even uh, Jotaro who is, in my opinion, the worst one of the five. He really works with them all, just because he works great with a tile changer. Anybody who can change tiles and make a big board, uh, Pesci is the go-to guy. He can really, really, like, make the most out of their stand abilities with his own. Come on, give me that stand-up time. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna use gold experience first, build up as much board as we can. Then we use Pesci, change as many tiles as he wants into Giorno tiles. Look at that! That's a 4x4. There you go. Now we just do some of this action. Come on. Give me a Giorno. Come on. Nope. How much is that going to be? 146,000 stand-up time. All thanks to Pesci. All thanks to Pesci. And the best part is, you don't even need a hugely high-level Pesci to do something like this, because Pesci's turning it into the partner's tiles. So the stronger your character like Jorno or Joseph or Jonathan is, the more value you're getting out of Pesci too. Pesci is a top tier support. So that was his big nuke play with Jorno. Let's go ahead and see him in action with Jonathan. Jonathan is everybody's favorite. Well, not everybody's favorite, but he's the one that everybody picks. And then after Jonathan, you know what, instead of Joseph, because everybody also likes Joseph, he's the second best one, uh, we're going to do Josuke. We're going to see him in action with Josuke after we do Jonathan here. So Jorno and Jonathan are both pretty free choices for the uh, 4x4s. The mission requirement that you have to get the 4x4 in stand-up time. Those guys are generally the best one. Now we got to wait through one stand-up time here because Jonathan's skill is on the slow side, unfortunately. We got it right there at the end, but I didn't want to rush it. I want this to be a proper showcase of what Pesci can bring to the table for any team. Any uh, tile-changing team, at the very least. He's not the greatest with guys like Okiyasu or Part 4 Jotaro, who uh, don't change tiles, they wipe tiles, guys like Fugo. But anybody who changes a tile... He's great for them. So here's the Sunlight Yellow Overdrive. Turns that whole center board into Jonathan. Then we use Beach Boy. Bam! 4x4. Four four. Easy. Easy peasy. No problem. Then you can do this, because moving tiles up... It, it's a long story, and I'll probably make a video on this later. But basically, moving tiles upward in the same row is the best way to do it. So that was 130,000 almost. About 123,000. So you can see why uh, Jonathan and Jorno are so good for this specific mission requirement. Now we're going to use Josuke next, and Josuke is not quite as good as they are at uh, getting the mission requirement, but it'll still show you just how strong Pesci can be with any sort of tile changer like that. Where's the boy Josuke? There he is. Oops, I need hearts. Good thing I have hearts. Give me all these hearts. Excellent. Alright, let's get in here. Crazy Diamond. Josuke is a character I would love to use more. 
Uh, when I first, first started Pitter Patter Pop, he was actually my first GR unit. And this is the same account that I was using back then. Um, I just pulled everybody. But he, I really like Josuke. Unfortunately, um, he's not super great in this game. He's not super bad. There's not very many units in this game that I would ever qualify as like, oh, this unit sucks, don't ever use him. Um, just one by virtue of the type of game it is, it's pretty laid back. You don't have to go too crazy. Um, but also, they're, they're pretty good about making units at least manageable. Alright, so the next stand-up time, we're going to pull a Josuke. We're going to use Crazy Diamond. Come on, give me that stand-up time. Got to be close. You got to be close. Give it to me. Damn it, Tarkus. Give it to me. There we go. Alright, so first we use Crazy Diamond. Makes that weird pattern. Then we use Beach Boy. Nice. Unfortunately, he got that stupid little crossed off block on us right here. Oh, there's the 4x4. We got it with Josuke. How much is this going to do? 111,000. Not bad. Not bad for Josuke. You know, we might have time to do all five of the starter Joe Stars with Pesci. Just to show you guys, there's really no wrong choice when it comes to Pesci. And that's not to say that you can only use the starter Joe Stars with him, because you could totally use any tile changer. Um, guys like White Album are really good with him. Oh, let's promote uh, Narancia. All right. I would show you White Album, but mine is like level 6 or whatever, level 9. Yeah, so he's not the best choice for that. So let's do Jotaro. Let's see what we can do with him. He's actually really good now that I'm looking at his stupid dumb face. Uh, Pesci is actually really good with Shigechi too. So it's not all about the starter Joe Stars. They just happen to be the ones that everybody has, at least one of these guys. So, since this is a how to use your box efficiently show, we're going to do ones I know everybody's got. Forty-four thousand, not bad. You can see how important it is to get the bigger combos in stand-up time too. When you get a lot of the two by twos, it is not the same as getting even one four by four. The damage is not even close. Come on, stand-up time, please. Stand-up time, please. There we go. So now let's use Jotaro. Pesci. So you see, there's the problem with Jotaro, is he overrode a bunch of his own tiles. He didn't even really get us anything. Oh no! Keicho! You son of a bitch. So what are we getting from Jotaro? 57,000. We didn't get the 4x4, so that's where all of our damage went. Still not bad, though, considering Jotaro is considered one of the lowest uh, GRs in the game. Alright, and then we'll hurry up and we'll do one with Joseph, because I know that a lot of people started with Joseph, just because they prefer him over Jonathan as a character. So they thought they would have more fun starting with him instead of Jonathan, which is fine. Joseph is another one that the, the 4x4 is a little bit harder to get compared to Giorno or Jonathan. And with Josuke, we kind of lucked into it, in that we drew the, uh, we drew the Josuke tiles that we needed quickly. So it's not guaranteed like it is with Giorno or Jonathan, or at least mostly guaranteed, but it's still pretty likely. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to wait for the second stand-up time to properly showcase the Pesh. Actually, you know what? We don't have to. 
Let's go ahead and do this. I'm on clackers. Then let's do this. Peach boy. There's a 4x4. Look at that. Look at that. How much is this going to do? 114,000. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So yeah, Pesci, man, he's the way to go for these kind of missions. He's... I, I haven't seen too many people score really great with him in score attack. Probably because having to save both of your skills for a high stand-up time just isn't the way that you're going to really get a high score in score attack mode. Uh, you really want erasers and fast skills like that. But with someone like Pesci and the early Joe Stars, they're really good in the events, any stage where you need to change tiles. Uh, tile changers are generally better than tile erasers in stages where tiles lock just because of those double locks that erasers only chip away at, they don't break. So when you have someone like them paired up with someone like Pesci, you get a lot of damage in stand-up time, and Pesci is so high value just because it doesn't really matter how strong he is. I mean, you want his skill level to be high, so he's pulling a lot of tiles. But you don't, it doesn't matter if he's super leveled up in comparison to your Joestar, or whoever your main guy is. Because that's where your damage is coming from. It's coming from whoever your front man is. So who's another... Who's, we'll do, you know what? Kakuin. Here's another good tile changer. We're just going to do one more, because I would feel silly if I just did the Joestars. Because I keep saying it like he's only good with them, and he's not. He's good with anybody that changes. Oh, and he becomes a fancy dark green color when you're using another green. I didn't even know that. More points for Pesci. Look at that. Look at that forest green. That's a beautiful Pesci. We're going to wait for the second stand-up time, even though we've got this one, just because we're going to... God, that's a big Hierophant green. Okay. Now it's almost time. Kakuin, underrated unit in this game. Um, not spectacular, but not bad at all. I think a lot of units in this game kind of fall into that level of not spectacular, but not bad. And I think a lot of people take not spectacular to mean bad. So here's Emerald Splash. Change all of that shit to Kakuin. Peshi it up. 4x4. Four four. Easy. Easy as pie. Easy as Pesci. How much are we going to get off that? 126,000? No problem. Look at Pesci go. And all of that was... Pe like, Kakuin's changing skill is pretty good. But if you saw it before Pesci went off, it really didn't change that much of the board. Like, I, I wasn't going to get much out of that. Until Pesci turned that into a winning move that one-shot the enemy. <laughs> And, of course, we got the 4x4, so right there, you would have cleared the 4x4 mission with Kakuin and friggin' Pesci. Alright, I'm gonna stop this one here, just because we are running a little bit- Oh, we get to- we get to level up Pesci, and look at that beautiful face. Look at him. What a hero. So we're gonna cut this one here, because I think that people finally have seen the power of Pesci. But I only used GR units with him. He works with some SRs too. Uh, other high tier SRs like Yukako, who make a lot of her own tiles. He's really good with her too. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more low tier, well not low tier, but lower rarity units that are good. And how to properly use them so you don't feel like you're stuck only using your golds. Let me know. We'll keep doing that. I'm also going to be doing another series that highlights golds. So all the top tier, fancy, cool units that you guys want to use, we're going to talk about those too. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Keep playing Pitter Patter Pop. If you aren't playing it yet, start playing it because it is the best JoJo mobile.